Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to fix enable to connect to EAFC 26 servers. So let's start. Make sure to follow these methods. Okay, so now for the first method, go to the Windows taskbar. You can see this upside arrow. Make sure to click it. And now search for the launcher that you have the game on, which is Steam. Right click on it and then select exit. Wait for a couple of moments. Then reopen the launcher once again. You will be redirected right here. So in the top left corner, select the view option. After that, click on library. Now look for FC 26. Let's say this is the game you just need to go to this manage option right here after that you need to click on properties then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files now any missing or corrupted file that is responsible for the network connectivity will be most likely fixed just wait for the process to finish and retry now before leaving you can go to the top left corner to steam and then select check for steam client updates maybe you have an older version so make sure you have downloaded the newest one now for the next method go to the windows search bar to that search for view network connections now look for your wi-fi like this one right click on it after that select properties this tab will pop up look for tcp ipv4 double click on it and then make sure to switch obtain dns server automatically to use the following one in the preferred one type in exactly like me 8888 eight, eight, eight. and in the alternate type in 8844 eight, four. after that select ok make sure to close everything now restart your computer and see if that problem is fixed for the next method go to the search and type in cmd and then select run as an administrator now type in like this net space winsock space reset and hit enter after that type in like this ip config space slash flash dns and hit enter again and for the last command type in netch space int space ip space reset and hit enter now as you can see you are prompted to restart your computer now before you do that for the next method go to the search after that go to settings once this opens go to the left menu and select network and internet after that scroll down and select the last option which is advanced network settings now scroll all the way down you can see network reset make sure to select it after that click on restart now and make sure to restart your computer and see if that works if not go to the search bar in the settings right here after that type in troubleshoot and select troubleshoot settings after that click on other troubleshooters and now go to network and internet and select run and see if that works if you find this video is helpful consider like and subscribing and see you on the next one